it's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. You can log on to V-103.com and see the Ryan Report for yourself. Also, a uh, big shout out to the Ivy Prep School today over in Kirkwood. Went over there. We'll talk about that a little later on. Uh, if you log on to V-103.com, it says, hmm, Ryan Cameron, don't you think that Ivy Prep student wants to be in the picture too? It's just a picture of the guy. All of us together, and I'm holding up the certificate they gave me in front of the kid's face. <laughs> <laughs> it was only for a second. It's amazing that you got that out of all the video that you got, Steven. Tamar Braxton, you a jerk.com. Uh, Tamar's got our own show. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's talk about the baby that shut down the hospital. Baby it, still causing problems. Yeah, it, it started off. Now, it was Ivy Blue Carter. But is it Blue Ivy Carter? That's the real name. Right? I, Blue Ivy Carter. Blue Ivy. Right. Right. Now, it all started, I guess, with this $1.3 million that J and B spent to make sure they had total privacy during the whole birthing process. They took over the entire wing of the hospital. Uh, a contractor whose wife was having a C-section and twins, not only uh, was shut out by security, but is now demanding an apology uh, because he was prevented from seeing his own new children. Uh, 38-year-old Neil Coolen, who's a contractor, says the stress of his wife delivering two premature girls was tripled by Beyonce's bodyguards treating Lenox Hill Hospital like an exclusive nightclub. There's only one way to solve that. Lawsuit, $50 million. He says, three times they stopped me from entering or exiting the uh, neonatal unit because one time they wanted to use the hallway. How do you... I know if you're a big celebrity, you could buy, like, the whole floor of a hotel. Right. You know, how do you do that at a hospital? That's a public facility. Well, from what I've heard, you you buy it out, and it's like the Olympics. Remember what they did for Georgia Tech? Right. You use it, and then you leave the stuff when you leave. (laughs) Okay. So when they go home, whatever they spent $1.3 million on to make it better and bigger and, you know, more lavish, they'll leave that stuff. So that becomes the Beyonce. So the hospital's like, yeah, we didn't have the money. <laughs> so let them keep it. Oh, all right. You know, that works out. Now, uh, Blue Ivy is also a uh, event planning site. Their site was crashed because everybody starts searching for Blue Ivy, whatever it is. And they're not happy. Then Blue Cantrell who supposedly was Jay-Z's last girlfriend, is saying that the baby's named after her on a sneak tip. What about the whole Ivy part? The I and the V? Yeah. Supposed Beyonce's to be album is right. IV as in four. Right. They were both born on the fourth. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z, of course, Sagittarius. Uh, Beyonce, uh, Houston Rocket, whatever. Um, and then you have, uh, they also have some more fours in common. You know, and then uh, even Blue Star Ointment. For ringworm tether and psoriasis, really is making a claim. Everybody wants in on the action. Anybody who's got, you know, <laughs> even the blue light special at like Kmart is upset about this baby. Well, I've been married for seven years and it's and I got blue. You that, that you got that too? Yeah. I've been married for almost 12 years. And you got the blue? I keep them. <laughs> so we're mad about the blue thing. <laughs> Even the Smurfs are pissed. The Tidy Bowl man's got to be upset. Anything blue. <laughs> All right. Uh, and last but not least in this particular Ryan report, Snoop Dogg carries weed everywhere. He smokes weed every day. We know that. Uh, he has a weed carrying prescription card. That applies everywhere except at the border in Texas. Uh, West Texas is where he was popped for weed over the weekend. Apparently, uh, they had the weed in a prescription bottle. Now, I don't know of a prescription bottle this big. It had a half ounce in it. <laughs> Several joints inside, they said that once the dog came across the weed, they knew something was wrong because he fell over dead. <laughs> uh, Snoop has a prescription for cannabis in California, but they say they don't care what's going on. When you're in Texas, you can't do that. Zero tolerance for weed in Texas. Zero tolerance. So he's got a citation for misdemeanor drug possession. But you could walk down the street in Fort Worth, Texas with a gun strapped to your side. That's a different. Yeah. That's a different. Yeehaw. I mean, come on. Uh, he could face up to, to $180 in jail if convicted on the drug charge. Poor Snoop. That ain't going to happen. They'll That's let it go. Happen. All right. And uh, this Ryan Report is brought to you by comedian Gary Owen. 
who is going to be at Uptown this Tuesday and Wednesday night at the all-new Uptown Comedy Corner featuring the opening act, Timo Be Ridiculous. 404-881-0200. Win a table for four right now. Don't call me. Call them. Here's Beyonce and the party. Happy birthday, Blue Star Ointment, Ivy Pillow Carter. B103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know.